Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to the 13th part in this series where we're building a personal dashboard app using Angular. In this video, we're going to be creating the to-do service. All right then, let's get started. Let's go and uh, go back to our code here. Let's go to the terminal and let's do ng generate service or ngGS for short. And then um, let's call this service to do service. So just to do, uh, press enter. Okay, now let's go to the to do service. And here we can actually uh, start to work on this. Uh, but okay, but before we do this, let's actually go and create the model. Oh, and one quick thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to put it inside the shared folder. So I think we, so let's actually move this to the shared folder. Let's go and find that up here. Let's move it into there. Yeah. All right. So now it's in the shared folder. And now let's go and create the to do model inside the shared folder. So uh, to do dot model dot ts like that. All right. So um, let's do export class to do and uh, it will have an ID. Okay, it will have a text and um, it will have a completed Boolean. Okay, cool. All right, so now we should create a constructor and then inside the constructor, we should generate the ID. So um, first of all, let's just import um, the uh, UUID function. So import and then uh, V4 as UUID V4 from UUID. That's the package we're using to create the IDs. And then here we can create the, the constructor and it will take in the text. Okay, and then inside here we can do this ID is equal to UUID V4 and just call that function. Okay, and here we can do this text is equal to text like that okay and we could actually use the shorthand here so uh, let's do that let's go here and let's do public and there we go and now we can get rid of this up there all right and let's get rid of this okay and uh cool all right so let's save that now and let's close that and now let's go to the to do service and we can now create a um property here called to do's and it will be a to do array Okay, so so up here we have to import to do. Um, okay, and now we can actually go and create some methods. So first of all, we can do um, get to dos, and here we will just return this dot to dos. Okay, and then here we need to do get to do, and it'll take in the ID of the to do like that. Okay, okay, and then here we actually have to find the to do. Which has the ID. So this dot to do's dot find, and then here uh, we will get the to do, and I'll call that T. And I then want to return um, T dot ID, and then we can compare that um, and see if the value is equal to the ID that was passed in. Okay, and let's return this now. Cool. Cool. All right, and then we can do an add to do here. Add to do. And it'll take in a to do object, and we can now do this dot to do's dot push to do, okay? And we can now do update to do, and it'll take in the ID and the updated to do fields, and this will be a partial to do like that, okay? And then here we can do const to do is equal to this dot get to do ID like that. And then we can do object dot assign to do with the updated to do fields. Okay. Um, and then the last one is the delete to do method. Delete to do, and it takes in an ID. Okay. And then here we just have to do um, const index is equal to this dot to do's dot find index, and we've taken the to do and we want to uh, check if the to do ID so t dot ID is equal to the ID that was passed in okay and here we'll see that um, it will uh, so return the index of the first element 
in the array where the predicate is true and minus one otherwise. So we actually have to check for minus one. Um, so if index is equal to minus one, then we want to return. Okay. And then, um, then we want to do um, this dot to do's dot splice and then pass in the index and one as the delete count. Okay. Uh, cool. All right. Cool. All right. So um, let's save that now and uh, let's go to the to do uh, um, component. So the to do's view, this one here. And uh, let's actually close the edit note files. Okay, so we just have these two. All right, and um, cool. All right, so here we have these and we haven't actually put these into their own components. So maybe we should do that first. Yeah, all right, so let's first create the to-do item component and then we can um, generate those to-do item components based on the data in the service. Let's do that next. 